Saturday night with us. Um, we have a huge card tonight. We've got six amateur fights to go through. Then we've got some corporates, and then we have some professional fights. And the headliner tonight is going to be one hit fight between Daniel Tye and, of course, David Light. Now, for our amateur uh, competitors here tonight, uh, all of our officials, we have Dennis Schuster, we have Satina Aloni, we have uh, Denise uh, Dennis, we have Paul McSherry, Paul McSherry, mm, okay. Uh, we have Mirama Downs, uh, so we're ready to go. Let's make some noise for these boys. And when I mean boys, I mean boys. So let's get ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, making his way to the blue corner, this is Deacon Kira. It is the 21st of July 2018. Welcome to Battle of the Brave here at ABA Stadium. This is Benjamin Watt, or Benji, however you like to prefer. And right here we've got Oceania champion Chad. How's it going? Yeah, good mate, good, good. Excited to see some, uh, some leather thrown tonight. And it's a uh, quite exciting fight night we've got tonight. We've got amateur, we've got corporate, we've got pros. It's quite a nice buffet. And right now we've got little like 10 year olds, 11 year olds. That's it, that's it, grassroots. And his opponent making his way to the red corner, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together. Here it comes Lucifero Spray! I wonder how long um, <laughs> Dan Henderson can actually hold his breath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So uh, Lucifero, he's only 10 years old. He weighed in at 39 kgs. Okay, do you remember the last time you were, you weighed in at 39? No, nah, I've never weighed in. Well, not for a boxing bout anyway. No, <laughs> well, but yeah, but north of that. Oh, you were born like 40 kgs. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so Deacon in the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is scheduled for three one one half minute rounds of action. Uh, it is brought to you by the Battle of the Brave. Introducing first fight out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing blue trunks with white trim. Weighing in at 39.8 kgs. This is Deacon Kurokawa. From the Cook Islands as well. Mm. So not much weight difference between them, less than a the kilo. The red corner enters the ring wearing the red trunks with white trim. Weighing in at 39 kgs even. This is Lucifer. We've got Deacon here who's actually had four fights before, but I'm not entirely sure about Lu was it Lucifer. Or? Lucifer? Or? Lucifer, yeah, yeah. Sprague. Fighting out of Capitoli. Boxing. Which we know developed some great boxers like Joseph Parker, Mossi Oyamantani. Yes, yep. Uh, Mo yeah, yeah, that's right. Mossi, uh, Patrick Malat also. Um, started boxing in that gym, so it's uh, it's produced some, some some good boxes over the years. So we've got quite an experienced uh, amateur referee in the ring right now. Yep, Sunita so has seen a bit of action. Has she gone overseas? I'm pretty sure she's been overseas. Uh, oh, I'm sure she has. She's probably had a few bouts, so probably a few of those uh, internationals in there. It's always nice to see uh, boxers come out and tap the gloves. Oh, That's already. A, oh. So slip referee, wiping the gloves, back to it. Oh wow. Four 10 and 11 year olds, they'd certainly pack a punch. Yeah, that's it, that's for sure. Feisty. Often, often the children, often the young ones are quite feisty. Oh, well, well, at the age of like 10 and 11 they're probably hungry. Yep, yep. But you notice the red corner is just coming out and like using power gets experience. Yes, exactly, yep. Perhaps it is probably because of maybe that lack of experience. And saying that we don't actually know, but that lack of experience is probably why he's uh, come out firing. Yeah, exactly. And also, sometimes maybe uh, with experience can come too much confidence. Right, yes. And you, like, he's actually, he's doing very well, like just almost trapping against the corner. Yeah, there's a dominating center of the ring, dominating the action, dictating the action. But uh, it is the early rounds. We got, um, even the long, rounds aren't long, we still got two more after this to go. Oh, the, refer the referees are practically, what are, you, what are you guys doing? Just keep, keep them going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you don't often see these sorts of fights happening as well. Uh, 10 seconds till the end of the round. I mean, like, um, it's just almost unheard of. It's not a big division, the, uh, 
Are they called the cadets? This is the. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is. I'm sure this is the cadet uh, age category. So yeah, the youngins. Oh, <laughs> that's one way. They're just babies. Yeah, uh, they are. This is this is quite early age to get into uh, into fighting. Um, I think this is probably the earliest you can. 10, 10 and eleven years old. So, uh, yep, yep. They they started they started early, say the least. So what would you say to the blue corner right now who isn't actually completely dominating this round? What would you say to them? Um, yeah, so probably going to be one round down. You've got two more to go. Blue corner is going to have to pick up the next round uh, if uh, he wants to stay in this fight. And how uh, about the red? Because he, he he's obviously won the round, well, in my opinion. I don't know what the viewers out there in listener land are saying. I think because of the boxer's age, you probably don't want to say too much to the boxer, especially... Um, you know, not so experienced, so just encourage the boxer to continue on uh, doing the good work. And also not to put too much pressure as well. Yeah, you don't want to punch yourself out. Uh, there are only one and a half minute rounds, um, so still want to keep a high work rate, and often the kids can. Yeah, you, well, yeah, the kids these days, they just have too much energy. Uh, right, right. Good to see that oh. these ones aren't sitting on the uh, iPads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The PlayStation, the iPads. Mm. And, and uh, for Luce, Lucifero. Oh, oh, there we go. We've got no. the standing eight count. Yeah, Lucifero has been uh, dominating the centre of the ring as well, which, you know, is, is quite. Uh, it's showing actually a bit of experience. Perhaps Lucifero has had uh, some previous bouts. Controlling the centre of the ring, cutting the ring off. And uh, I wonder. Well, I, I should have actually done a little bit of research to see if they've actually, like, little champions because I know cadets they can actually uh, there are amateur champions yeah they can compete at the national champs yeah so um, perhaps one of them does have a title that we're unaware of yeah and I, it's actually I'm interested, it's interesting that Deacon he's got the whole long hair in the back of his head I, I wonder if that can uh, play a part because I know that you're supposed to tie that up so you can't use it as a weapon um, it, the hair is tied up at the back but what I can sort of see is some of the hairs coming uh, in front of the head guard, which would definitely uh, get in the way of the eyes, and you've got to see what you're doing in there. Yeah. I can see Deacon's actually doing a little bit better in this round. Uh, he's landing more, especially. Yeah, yeah. And yep. just as it just started, it's almost over in the second round. Yeah. Just oh, in the back of the head. Yeah, just got caught in the head of the action, oh. but yeah, just starting a bit too late for the uh, blue corner. Um, but can see that uh, there, Deacon does look like. He's got some skills, uh, knows his range all right, just, just not enough shots. Um, and it's only what, four and a half minutes of, of uh, action, so he's going to have to just start a little bit faster. So uh, there's a, this topic that goes around a lot these days, uh, headgear versus no headgear, where are you at? Um, uh, I, I have pros and cons for both. With, with the headgear, um, you can get that false sense of security. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, right. Um, but with that, you know, you're still receiving a relatively similar, if not the same amount of impact to the brain, which is um, the cause of concussions and whatnot. But the good thing about the headgear is um, you're not going to have a clash of heads, which can lead to cuts. And in the tournament, where you could have three, four, five bouts. Um, you, if you get caught with a cut early in that, uh, that could uh, endanger your chances of... Uh, boxing onwards into your next bout and passing the doctor each day. All right, we've got we're right here into the third and final round. We've already had one standing eight count. Uh, I say that the red corners is uh, up on the cards, and he's really going at it already at the beginning of this. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, the red has d dominated the action from round one to this round, and just showing good ring generalship, controlling the centre of the ring, um, move it, head movement as well, putting in attacks and bunches, punches and bunches, and what can't say much else. The uh, Lucifero has dominated the bout. Showed superior skills, yeah, in my exactly. opinion. And you can actually hear those punches from up here, which is you don't really. Um, I'm actually quite surprised at how heavy hitters um, they are for just 10 and 11 year olds as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and saying that, <laughs> I say this now, and one day they might come at me like, oh, I, I'm a heavy hitter. <laughs> I'll give you a heavy hit in a minute. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, there we go. Oh, clash of heads. You know, I was saying before that the headgear, I remember from like a show that we did a couple of weeks ago, and someone had headgear, and when they took the headgear off, they had like this big, massive uh, golf ball 
a uh, black eye, even though they had a headgear on. Uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes our shot can sneak through. Um, sometimes even when you've got your gloves up defending and you take a punch on the gloves, your own hand can um, hit you in the face and, and actually you'd be surprised what, how much damage you can do. And we're coming 10 seconds to go in this uh, late three minute round, three minute round? Three round, the third round. <laughs> And that's it. Good bout, but I, I think we're going to be quite sure who the winner is. I think Red Corner has dominated the bout. But yeah. uh, we'll see what the judges have to say. These two young boys, young boys, young men. Yeah. <laughs> they've, they've done an amazing job. It's almost like uh, the Red Corner not scaved at all. No, the Red Corner... Uh, from what I can, from what I saw in that bout, the red corner did a, a bit more of the damage in that bout. Yeah, more shots, more volume, bent arm punches, landing with good power too. Um, I'm expecting a victory for the Sephiro Sprague. Fighters to the center ring, please. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for these two fighters. That was an awesome way to start the night. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find the unanimous decision winner. Your winner fighting out of the red corner, Lucifero Sprague! Good result. Um, and a round of applause for Dicky yeah, yeah. Kurakawa! Not particularly hard result, but uh, not particularly hard to judge, but it was actually a good fight, a good fight for both. And certainly some experience for both of them. Everybody, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's a bit, okay, I'm gonna find a picture of these two. Then I'm gonna interview Lucifero. Where's his parents? Are they here? <laughs> what a great name, Lucifero. <laughs> Where'd you guys come up with that? <laughs> that's awesome. Come over here, my good man. Great fight. You fought well. You had a lot of combinations. Do you think uh, boxing's your thing? Is is, uh, is is this what you want to do? Yes. <laughs> Are you Mark Hunt? What? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to interview Mark Hunt once and he said one word the whole time. Um, who would you like to thank for getting you the win here tonight? Um, my trainer, my dad. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well said, champ. Oh, yeah, wave yep, to the oh, fans, yeah. that's it. Yeah, we shake hands with the rap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, put up one more time! Well, you're, you're <laughs> oh, he's so nervous. He doesn't oh. know what to do with Dan. I mean, it's Dan after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, good performance by Lucifero. Good win.